Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an entire Shopify store require a login. This is actually a really easy thing to do with just liquid code. You don't need an app or anything. Oh, there are apps that do this. But if you're comfortable just copying and pasting 10 lines of code, you can do this uh, in your store without an app. So let me show you what how this behaves, right? So here you see I'm on a website. This is actually a wholesale website I'm working on for a client. And if I click on any link, you'll see that I, I keep getting the wholesale portal login uh, page, which is under the URL of account forward slash login. Right? This is a standard page in every Shopify store. Um, but regardless of what page I click on, it still takes me back to this, this wholesale login page. And that's because I'm not logged in. And I can see that here because my uh, login icon, it says login instead of, you know, account. So if I log in using a username and password that's valid in Shopify, now all of a sudden I'm in, you know, the store and I can click on any of the pages and browse the store normally. And you can see now my, my little login icon says account, which means I'm logged in. So let's just go in and, and log out again and show you how this works, right? So in, in the code, I'm going to go to the Shopify admin for this store. I'm going to go under online store and under themes, then actions, then edit code. And I'm going to open up the theme.liquid file, which is stored right up here in layout under theme.liquid. And it's already open. And the code that makes this happen is just these 10 lines of code. Um, so what, and I'll explain the logic of what this code is doing, um, and I'll include a um, little snippet of this code on the, the page that, on, on my blog, on the website, where you can just copy and paste the code. You might have to change it a little bit for your situation, um, but this will get you started and, and right down the right path. So what we're doing here is we're basically, in, in this logic here, we're asking ourselves, do we want to redirect the customer to um, the login page. So you see the first thing is an unless statement, um, in, in less customer. And think of customer as logged in, right? If, if you ask in, in Liquid, if customer, it actually looks, are, is this user on the, the website logged in or not? So basically we're saying if, you know, in less customer means if not logged in. So if they're not logged in, then continue looking, right? So if they're already logged in, this next set of logic gets ignored. And then what we look at is if template contains customers. And this is, you know, if you haven't played with liquid code a little bit, this is one of the more, um, you know, things you have to learn, right? It's one of those learnings you do. Because normally the template is, you know, usually in the file name of, uh, let's just look at a template here. Here's the article template, for example, right? Um, and it just says article.liquid. The deceiving thing is, or the little trick you have to learn is, there's a subfolder in templates, and that's what these are. Customers, cu uh, account, customers, activate account, customers, addresses, um, and login and order. So there's a whole bunch of customer type pages that are in a subfolder called customers. So this login page, even though up here it just says account login, the template name actually contains the phrase customers because that login right here, this login.liquid is in the subfolder customers. So basically what we're saying here is if they're already on one of these customer pages, like the login page, then you know we're not going to redirect them because if they're already on this login page, we don't want to redirect them to the login page. It would end up being an infinite loop. And then what we say is, you know, if, so if, if it's false, if, if they're not on one of these customer pages and they're not logged in as a customer, then we're going to set a variable send a login equals true, All right? So send a login going through this loop is either going to be false or it's going to be true. And don't forget, if they're already logged in, send a login, we're not setting it anywhere. So it will be false by default. And then once we go through that little logic there, then we have a simple if then statement. If send a login, right? So this is basically saying if we've already set this to true up here. And so there's two if statements, right? If send send a login, which basically is 
if we've already set it to true and request path is not challenge. So that's when you know, they're authenticating and stuff like that. Um, and that's, I think that's the, uh, the forget your password page. So if they're not logged in, right, that's what we're figuring out here, they're not on a customer page um, and they're not on the challenge page, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna redirect them to a new page. And that's what, this is HTML. This isn't liquid, this line here, this is HTML and it's just a, a meta and it says content, right? Send them to this URL, which is account login. And every store has a forward slash account, forward slash login page in Shopify. And also says then go refresh the page. So all this other content below um, actually is, is not used because the first thing, it shows up, but then, you know, the, the site listens to this first command, which is redirect them to the account login page. And that's what you see happening here is, as I'm not logged in right now, I click on any one of these and I, and if you look up here in the URL string, you'll see it goes to that page for a second, right? If I click on your rig, I saw it said collection something there a second ago, and then it, it got redirected. So it quickly loads the page and the first command it sees is redirect to the login page, right? So that, that's what's happening there. Um, and so that's that's the code. It's as simple as this to add, you know, these 10 lines to your theme liquid right underneath the head. So it's the first thing that happens on every page on your site. Um, when it loads up, it goes through those different rules, determines if we're going to redirect it to the login page or not, and then performs that action. Now, something to think about is in your login page, and this will depend on the business rules for your store. For example, this store here is a wholesale store and it's a whole it's a wholesale store that's standalone from the retail store so we've made the entire site require login and if they want to apply for a wholesale account they've got to do that on a form that we put on the retail store so looking for apex chassis retail store click here for our consumers you know click here for our consumer store and we also have a link up here that says if you want to apply for a wholesale account, apply here. If I click on that, it takes me over to the retail store and then the, the apply application form shows up for them. So, and what we did, you know, most people don't edit their account login page, right? So what you're probably gonna wanna do is edit your account login page to put some extra verbiage around what's going on. Like, hey, you know, welcome to our wholesale portal. You must, you know, log in with your wholesale account and any other directions. What I also did on this one is because the application is not just create an account in Shopify through the Shopify account creation process, which you have to apply and the store staff evaluate your application and then approves it. And what they do once it's approved, they manually add that um, customer information into the uh, Shopify store and send an account invite out. So you'll notice on this account page, there's no sign up link. And there was in this account, you know, most account pages by default have a, don't have an account, click here to sign up. So based on your business rules, you may want to, you know, comment that out and not allow them to create their own accounts if you want them to go through a separate application process. So that's how we get an entire site to require login, just editing the, you know, the, the theme.liquid with a little bit of code that redirects everybody that is not logged in to the account login page. And then we optimize our account login based on our business rules of you know whether we allow them to sign up for accounts here or have to go through a process to do it. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.